Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Artichoke Cafe. Uh, the Cascade Blues Association and Artichoke Music is pleased to present our monthly meeting. We can't do it live, so actually we can't. We are doing it live. We just can't do it in person where you guys can come in and sit in the room with everybody and, and enjoy a nice evening of music and uh, friends and uh, beverages and appetizers or whatever. But this is something that we've been doing for the last, uh, this is the fourth month now, and we're really happy to be doing this. Uh, thank you, Bob Howard, for inviting us to do these meetings here. And uh, I got to say, before we get going, if you're a Cascade Blues Association member, make sure you checked your email because you got a message in there that tells you how you can win a CD by emailing back and giving the secret code and your name would go on a hat and then you have a chance to win. And that's only for members, so please join the Cascade Blues Association. And uh, what we have going on here tonight is extremely special. I've been in love with this lady as long as I can remember. She moved here in 2004, one of the world's premier guitar players, whether it's finger style, lap slide, you name it, she can do it, and she's a great songwriter. Her latest album is called Living with the Blues on Little, or Little, Little Village Foundation, which is a great label. Uh, check them out. But I've known her, and she told me when she moved here, the best thing about moving here from Colorado was she didn't have to shovel rain out of the driveway. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you one of my most favorite people there is, Mary Flower. Thank you, Greg, so much. Where's the wild applause? There we go. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, Greg with Cascade Blues, uh, where would we be without them? Uh, they take care of their musicians and they take care of their audience. And uh, it almost feels like we're at a festival right now. We have six people in the room, I believe, something like that, which is the most people I've played for in a year. So it's a crowd. It's a party. It doesn't feel like a meeting, but I'll take it, whatever it is. Uh, the interesting thing for me today was that I actually got dressed, and I put on some war paint, and I carried my instruments to the car. It's like, wow, this is what I used to do. I remember it well. Let's see if I can remember the music. That'll be, that'll be the test. All you sinners, hear my call. Satan's waiting for you all. You better get your souls washed white. Better see the light. Amen. A fiery furnace down below. If you're not right, then down you go. To original hot brimstone, set your soul right in to moan. You better get down on your knees. Let the good Lord hear your pleas. And if you want to rest at ease, moan, you moaners. Bow your head right down and pray. Let the devil get chased away. Let your soul be saved today. Moan, you moaners. I said, sing hallelujah, blood of the lamb. Let your voices rise. Hear me talking to you, ain't no time to sham. If you want to get to paradise, you must repent without a doubt and let the good Lord hear you shout. Religion turns you inside out. Moan, you moaners, I moan now. Hallelujah, blood of the Lamb, let your voices rise. Hear me talking to you, ain't no time to sham. If you want to get to paradise, you must repent without a doubt and let the good Lord hear you shout. 
Religion turns you inside out. Moan, you moaners. Moan, you moaners. Moan, you moaners. I'll moan now. Thank you. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, it's been a it's been a long year, and uh, it's been a very quiet year. And last year at this time, I was in New Orleans with a good friend, and it was a uh, boy just a great time. And it's just amazing how everything just kind of shuts down and stops, you know. But uh, hopefully, I hear there's going to be some money in a package coming from our government. Uh, if Biden does what he says he's going to do, we'll get the restaurants and the clubs back on track and. And everybody going to get their vaccine, or so we hear. So I look forward to that. That will be a good day. So I've written a few tunes uh, during this time. And uh, this is one of them. It's an instrumental called Pandemic Pickin'.
let's see here. I will do um, this tune that was written years ago, probably in the 60s or 70s, by Alan Reynolds, who was a Nashville uh, producer and songwriter. And uh, Doc Watson has done this tune. Various people have done this tune, but there isn't a better time for it than now. Crystal Gale, I guess, is the one. Isn't she the one that had the really long hair? Maybe she could, like, trip on her hair. <laughs> um, she, uh, she had the hit with this song. And, uh, anyway, this is my, my version of it. So. been a too long time, no peace of mind, and I'm ready for the times to get better. certainly a timely song, is it not? I hope you all are doing well at home. Um, obviously, there's nothing on Netflix tonight, so we've got all your attention. That's good. And cheers to you all for hanging in there and being alive and wearing masks and washing your hands and not touching your face. Right? Remember that? The don't touch your face routine. <coughs> Well, here's another one that I wrote a while back, and it also seems to be pretty um, relevant these days. It's called I'm Doing All Right, or So Far Doing All Right, I guess, and it's all about how lucky I am at this point to be still around and able to play and able to keep some food on the table. And um, um, this came from 
album, I guess, uh, an album before my last one, I believe. I can't keep track. But, uh, yeah. do shine. Pinch my pennies, stretch my dimes, I'm doing all right. Yeah, doing all right. God willing, knock on wood, I'll keep doing all right. Yes, I will, hopefully. Still got chops on these here frets and I'm doing all right so far. Doing all right. God willing, as I play this tune, I keep doing all right. Yeah. And I got wood for the fire, bacon in the pan, biscuits in the oven, and beans in a can. I'm doing all right. Seriously, I'm doing all right. God willing, you know I won't starve because I know how to cook and I'm doing all right. So far. So far, doing all right. Okay, well, I seem to be uh, front-loading all these songs that are uh, have to do with where we are right now. And here's here's one that I made up uh, called the Isolation Blues. Perhaps you can relate to this. It's like, can we get a funny song out of this time? I don't know. I tried. It's not like funny ha-ha, but it's it's funny that we all can probably <laughs> relate to to all these little facts that I came up with, so enjoy this. Blues. Yes, I do. In 
a dark room I'm drinking dark beer and I'm praying on my rosary I'm having impure thoughts about the mailman and the guy who delivers my groceries I'm just sitting here thinking now is it me is it you or baby is it the flu Gotta stop it with the droplets. Got those lockdown mask up isolation blues. solitude I am wiping with the Cloroxes on my laptop all my friends live in tiny boxes on my walk I cross the street to be six feet away from you and you and you I must insist upon the distance got those lockdown masks up Isolation blues, and so do you. Everybody doing all right out there? Okay. What a rowdy crowd you are. <laughs> Let's see, we got a sound man, we got a cameraman, we got a guy who's on the website, we got a guy who's just sitting there, we got people taking pictures, and they're all strategically placed and wearing masks. And I don't have to wear a mask, which is good because I can't sing with a mask on very well. So. All right, I think I might change instruments if that's okay with everybody. And you at home, I can't hear you, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think that looks like a funeral urn behind me. So <laughs> I, I could be wrong. <laughs> Is that like a sign? <laughs> I hope not. I'm going to play some uh, slide guitar here. And uh, let's see. Play you a medley, or as I like to call it, a malady.
this morning How do you reckon it read itself? Hurry, hurry, now your love is dead I got a letter this morning Yes, and how do you reckon it read? Hurry, hurry now, the one that you love is dead. Well, I packed my suitcase and I took off down the road. I got there, he was laying on the cooling board. I packed my suitcase. Yes, and I took off down the road. This one was a Sunhouse tune, and uh, he always, he was a preacher, and a uh, darn scary preacher. I've got a great picture of Sunhouse and uh, John Hurt and uh, Skip James at the Newport Folk Festival. It's a Dick Waterman photo that is uh, really a wonderful, wonderful shot of the three of them being pretty happy that they got their careers back on track. And... Uh, yeah, playing in front of all these young people who were going crazy over him. Okay. <coughs> well, let's see here. You should be glad I didn't bring my banjo. <coughs> I thank myself every day. <laughs> I got a fretless banjo, but I haven't quite uh, learned how to reel it in yet. It's uh, it's really cool, but um, I've been pretty busy, and uh, it's sitting in the corner going, play me, play me, but uh, <laughs> hasn't, hasn't happened uh, seriously yet. So. Well, let's see here. I think I might just uh, <coughs> do something a little different than what I was planning. Go way down with that string. It's a Ma Rainey tune, and <coughs> some of you may have seen the uh, portrayal on Netflix of uh, Ma Rainey, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, they called it. And <coughs> I think that was August Wilson's interpretation of like 
an afternoon, you know, I don't think, it, I was expecting a big historical documentary, but that's not what it was. It was, uh, it was an artist's um, vision, I guess, of, of an afternoon that she spent in a recording studio, so. Uh, it was pretty angry. <laughs> they were all pretty angry. But she was, uh, she was wonderful. She discovered Bessie Smith, and uh, I actually wrote a song about that called Bessie's Blues, which I'm trying to revive about how Ma Rainey discovered her sitting on the street um, playing tunes for, for spare change when she was a, barely a teenager. So looking for a new career, there's something you could be doing. I always say, yeah, be a musician. Don't be a doctor. Don't be a lawyer. Do something with a little bit of soul and absolutely no... Uh, <laughs> no certainty of paychecks. Makes you, makes you, you know, makes you pay attention. All right. It's been done by a lot of people. This is my own version. I'm so unhappy. I feel so blue. Sometimes I feel so sad. I made a mistake from the start Lord, it seems so hard to part Oh, but this letter that I would write I hope he will remember When he receives it See, see, writer See what you done, done Honey, you made me love you now your gal has come Made me love you Now your gal has come And I'm going away, baby I won't be back till fall Said I'm going away I won't be back till fall Good man, I won't be back at all. Yes, and see, see, Ryder, where'd you stay last night? You know that your shoes ain't buttoned and your clothes don't fit you right. What else we got here? Okay, 
Well, we got a bunch more tunes. Uh, I'll do a quiet one. It's funny, I have uh, the same song written twice, two different songs written twice on my list. That's kind of interesting that I did that. I'm not going to do them twice. I don't know why I did that. <coughs> it's like, who wrote this set list anyway? I don't know. I'm sure not sticking to it. From uh, the most recent CD, uh, Living with the Blues Again. I do have a website, and I should just say that um, a lot of musicians who are home and, and not working right now uh, could use for you to buy their CDs and uh, other, other things that they have thousands of in their basement, speaking for myself. And uh, I won't say the joke that everybody said, no, I got a million seller. Yeah, I got a million of them in the seller. But uh, it's true. <laughs> and I also have uh, instructional DVDs uh, for players at different levels. And you can find all that at maryflower.com. And, but just remember, that's something you can do for musicians and something else you can do for them while they're not working is to go to Amazon and all those places where you can make comments about their various, you know, various recordings, and that's always helpful. Only if they're good comments. <laughs> Don't give them bad comments, <laughs> but make some nice comments about their music and that, uh, give them five stars, and that's a, a nice thing that you can do, so. one for all you guitar players out there. I'm in drop D, but I'm going to play in the key of G, which is rather <laughs> tricky. That's a part of the thing about not working is you kind of forget your own material, you know, and it's like, 
because you don't really sit around and practice because there's, you know, I'd rather write than practice, unfortunately <laughs> for me. But, uh, but yeah, you, you just, you know, I've talked to a lot of people who say it's really hard because you got nothing to prepare for, you know, or who knows when you might have something to prepare for, so. Uh, let's see here. Okay, how about... Uh, this is one I recorded with Rich Del Grosso on an album we did together. Hey, hey now, baby, where you been when you should have been here with me? There's a cold, cold seat at the head of the table where my coulda, shoulda used to be now. Hey, baby, now, baby, where you been? Shoulda been home tonight. There's a cold, cold plate of steak and potatoes. What happened to your appetite? There's ice and snow and it's coming down. Bound to get much colder. That ain't nothing compared to your cold shoulder. I think I may have stolen those last couple of licks from the great Reverend Gary Davis, who, uh, if you're going to steal licks from somebody, he's a good guy to steal licks from. He had all kinds of wonderful turnarounds and uh, uh, chord voicings and unusual uh, picking style. So if you've never heard Gary Davis, now is the time, especially if you are a guitar player. So, <coughs> Okay. Well, I really want to thank uh, Greg Johnson uh, from the Cascade Blues Association for making these little concerts work, along with Bob Howard here at Artichoke Music. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful little stage, and it's just sitting here, and we're so glad to be using it, putting it to good use, and I appreciate that. So uh, we got Stu Dodge Sound here, Scott on the board over there, and Gary uh, doing the the video, and we have a little camera that's going back and forth over here. It's just kind of a magical thing. It makes it look like I'm on a train or something. I feel like I'm on a train. But uh, hey, thanks, you guys. It's so nice to have a wonderful a gig in front of real people, and uh, I really appreciate all you've done to make this happen. We almost had to cancel it, but we didn't do that. Thank God. And uh, we hope uh, Gary is much healthier now after his little procedure. So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do kind of a long tune here. Maybe. 
It's a Leroy Carr song that I've been playing for years, and he used to play with Scrapper Blackwell. And the two of them lived in Indianapolis, Indiana, which is where I, I grew up probably an hour or so from there. And I was a teenager, and I didn't know about these legends living an hour away from me. I found out later after the fact. Scrapper's one of my absolute favorite players, and Leroy was a great piano player, and this is his tune.
Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you very much. I thought that was my last song. I guess I just got an encore, huh? <laughs> There's something on the slide. That's a long song. I'm trying to imitate a piano there uh, a little bit on the guitar. If you didn't notice. So uh, Sunday I am playing for the Portland Guitar Society. And if you go to their website, you can probably find something. I'm going to teach a little bit of a lesson. It's a, it's a Zoom thing. And uh, you can uh, check it out. And uh, I'll probably put something on Facebook about that if you're a Facebook user. Stranger from your door Don't ever drive a stranger from your door He may be your best friend Oh, you may never know Make me down, pallet on your floor
Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right, everybody, let's give it up for Mary Flower. I know there's only like six of us here, but you could be clapping at home. <laughs> Colorado Music Hall of Fame member, Cascade Blues Association Muddy Hall of Fame member. She is a multiple Blues Music Award nominee. Wow. And uh, she also is uh, a regular at many guitar camps around the country. She plays around the world. She does her own guitar camp with Manuka Retreat every fall. And check that out. It's a limited number of people that can attend. Uh, so sign up early. She's had people on the faculty, including people like Steve James, Duke Robillard, Guy Davis, and uh, I know Jim Queskin is uh, scheduled yep. for this year yep. at Sun Pie Barnes. So check that out. And also, Mary needs your donations. She's <laughs> playing here for you. So PayPal me at uh, paypal.me slash Mary Flower Music or go to Venmo Mary dash flower dash one and good. donate to her. And uh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, and Mary. the Cascade Blues Association, Artichoke Music are both nonprofit organizations. So if you feel like donating to us, look us up, cascadebluesassociation.org, artichokemusic.org. And we want to thank our sound people, uh, Gary Furlow, Scott Peterson, and Michael Henchman. Thank you so much. And our audience, uh, Elizabeth Campbell doing <laughs> photography, my wife, Sheree. Uh, thank you for being here. And once again, thank you, Mary, thank for you, being Greg. here. Don't pleasure. miss out next month. We have a super lineup. We're going to have probably your first performance online since everything went down. Karen Lovely will be joined by Ben Rice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Both are Blues Music Award nominees. So cool. join us on uh, Wednesday, March 3rd. Thank you. Once again, thank you, Mary thank Flower. You, Greg. And My thank pleasure. you all for joining in.